Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here getting ready to take out the American Reserve P26A34 in Air Realistic. Um, it is a really good little plane, especially for the P26s because it's got the 50 cal. That 50 cal can hurt some things at 1.0. Um, so yeah, got the 50 cal in a 7.62, plenty of ammo in the 50 with 200 rounds. Um, really need to play it more like an energy fighter than a turn fighter. You're not going to be able to turn with uh, with the biplanes. So you got to make sure you got more energy than they do before you get into a, a tussle with them. Uh, having said that, let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, the map is Bastogne. I would call it a medium-sized map for uh, for 1.0. Let's see, decent full teams. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and use our web. It's a... Uh, a um, winter map, so you can use your WEP longer before you burn up your engine on the winter ones. Go ahead and climb around 125 miles per hour. And based on where we're coming off of and where they are, so they're going to come out this way. Kind of want to stay to the right of them. I think we're going to go for, uh, we'll just line up with their right hand ground units here. See who we're up against. Uh, Germany, Great Britain, Japan, France, and Sweden. Yeah, that's Vinskas. we got a group of three on their side, so we got to watch for them working together. Let's see, we don't have... Yeah, we got a couple 2-0s. And a few bombers, so they'll probably have a few as well. So we'll just keep this steady climb. Just trying to get that energy advantage. It's uh, such a huge thing and air realistic. Air arcade you can get away without being, you know, as diligent about it, but air realistic you really can't. Not in the long run anyway, you can get lucky of course, but it'll catch up to you. One bomber over there in the sun. Looks like he's on a dive. Unfortunately, that means probably most of our team's gonna dive after him never ceases to amaze me. Alright, 12v12, plenty of targets. Let's go get into it. Alright, V156, we're going to let him go unless he wants to uh, start a fight with us. He does have four front guns, I believe. But his bombs aren't going to do anything major in this game. Guessing those are their bombers that came down low. I don't think we're running into their fighters yet, but we'll see. Nope, those are their fighters. Alright, so good thing for us, their fighters uh, gave up their energy to get after our uh, our bombers. So it makes our job easier. Appreciate it. So now that we're getting closer to the enemy, I'm going to bring my nose down a little bit and bring our speed up to 150. A little more air going over the control surfaces makes you more maneuverable. We'll just keep climbing at 150, kind of see how things play out. See where our teammates are if we get in trouble. Mostly back and to the left, alright. V156 might be feeling a little spicy. Let's see what he wants to do. He's diving on our P400. He loops back up, we'll have a good shot at him. H75, probably take a few shots at him. But this HE51's here, so let's just uh, go up and then reset. I didn't want to give up my energy right in front of a uh, biplane, a turn fighter. Not so worried about the Nimrod can shoot at you for a couple weeks and never knock your plane out of the sky. Alright, let's go 109. He's lined himself up nicely. Two hits on his right wing. Should have enough speed to stay out of that HE-51. Let's check this Nimrod. Couple hits on his right wing. 
Alright, he's down. Gotta watch out for these biplanes, especially this guy. Let's check the HE-51. I know that guy's lining up on me right now, but... Not much I can do other than run away. So if we got anybody in the area that can help me out. an interesting play on his part, so we're just going to go straight up. Nimrods have shitty engines. We're going to use full flaps. Try and get inside of his turn. And it worked. My first squad guy I thought he was going to play that a little better. So we got the Fokker and the D371 both on our backs. Got an I-15 here. Looks like they're lined up on him. Let's go try and help him out without making a bad target out of ourselves. Walker's got good guns. I'll stay away from them the best we can. Sh should have been better than that. Good hits on him. Ended up getting our fire out. Engine back on. Throttle up. Not afraid to take a few shots that I might miss here. Just to... There we go. Get rid of the threat. Key 10. Oh, that wasn't good. Pull up. Nice. In between the trees. Just like we meant to. But we did. Alright, Key 10 probably thought we were dead. I sure as shit thought we were dead. So let's uh, kind of line up to go RTB. Just going to be back this way. hell's our base at? There it is. Alright, so we're actually gaining on the key 10. we got a buddy with us. That's awesome. Let's see what he does here. Nice job. He's down. Nice job. Alright guys, well, uh, I think we're clear to land, so I will check back with you when we're uh, rearmed, refueled, and repaired. Alright guys, well, our teammates finished off the last uh, opponent before we could get out there and back into the fight. But uh, all in all, good game. End up with five air kills. Uh, we got Survivor and first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.